In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use the TI-84 to find a confidence interval for a population proportion. Okay. Whenever you're trying to find a confidence interval for a population proportion, there's only one function you need in your calculator, and it's under stat test. And you want to scroll all the way down to A, which should be the 11th thing. Okay, one prop Z int. Okay. Now, in this function, one prop Z int, there are three things it's going to ask for X, N, and C. The easiest thing to determine is n. n is the sample size. x is the amount that responded positively to the thing you were looking for. Okay. And c level is the confidence level. So let's look at an example. A survey found that of 300 pet owners, 123 said they felt pet food was too expensive. Find a 90% confidence interval for the population proportion of pet owners that think pet food is too expensive. So n is always your sample size, and that's always going to be the easiest thing to find. So 300 people were surveyed, so that's my n. Okay. Now x is the amount of people, in this case, that responded positively to thinking that pet food was too expensive. So 123 said yes, okay, pet food is too expensive, so x is 123. And c level will be the 90%. And you always want to put it, it help if I spell C level, right? C level is 90% and you always want to put it in a decimal, so 0 0.90. Okay, so for X I'm going to put 123. For N I'm going to put 300. And for C level I'm going to put 0.9. Now the word calculate works like an enter like a button so you highlight calculate by pressing down or you could press enter when you're up here and then you press enter on it. Okay. Now the confidence interval is going to be given to you in parentheses like this. Okay. Um, most instructors want you to write it using less than symbols. So we'd say 0.36329 36329 is less than P, because P stands for population proportion, which is less than 0.45671. Okay. Now you can also write these as percentages because we are talking about proportions here. So you can do 36.329% is less than P is less than point uh, is less than 45.671%. Okay. In a sample of 120 U.S. adults, 70% said that they liked spaghetti. Find the 95% confidence interval for the true proportion of U.S. adults who like spaghetti. Okay. So n is always going to be the easiest thing you find. It is your sample size. So n in this case is 120. Now in the previous example, we were given x. In this example, we are not. We are given the percentage that responded positively to liking spaghetti. Okay. So in this example, this percentage does not represent x, it represents the variable p hat. p hat is always the proportion of the sample that fit within what you're looking for. Okay, so 0.7. Okay. So I do need to find x for my uh, function because remember, when you go to it, the first thing it asks for is x. So I'm going to do alpha math this time. Oops. Now the first thing it asks for is x. Now you can find p hat by, I'm sorry, you can find x by doing n times p hat. Okay, if 120, or how many people I looked for, and 70% of that 120 said they like spaghetti, so all I need to do is 120 times 0.7, and that'll tell me x. Now you can go ahead and calculate it here, you know, separately, or you can actually put that calculation into the calculator under x. Notice if you do 120 times 0.7 and then press enter, it'll automatically tell you 84. So you don't even have to calculate it separately. Okay. Then we do n of 120. C level this time is 0.95. And then calculate, press enter. So we get our 
um, proportion interval here. Now notice it also tells you p hat. It's a little hard to tell, but there is a little hat on that p. So make sure that this is the same p hat that you had in your problem statement, because if it isn't, that means you incorrectly calculated x. Okay, so 0.61801 is less than p, is less than 0.78199. And that's it.